I mean, we're also arguing now technicalities of the <laughs> CRZ and the fact that this is what the letter of the law says. But yeah. um, you get a lot of cases where domestic abuse and rape is overstated. Yeah. See, domestic violence, I get so many cases that I can see Girgaon court, Kila court, where all small trial courts I have gone to fight DV because DV is a civil uh, remedy, you know, it's not a criminal remedy. And uh, domestic violence is a law where women can get residence, monetary alimony, you know, it's a very positive law. But yes, you have to prove as per the law, again, you know, we are talking about law, that a woman has been actually subjected to domestic violence. So I have to read out all the gory details, whether she's been beaten, pushed, bullied, not given food when she's carrying, she's mother-in-law not given her food, husband's beaten her. So yes, you know, because it very clearly says that if I have to get a woman her house, residence, maintenance, I have to first convince the judge, the magistrate, that she has faced domestic abuse. So, yes, I get a lot and uh, women, the problem I see is that women don't have the money to hire a lawyer, which is very tragic because most of them are housewives. They suffer in silence and um, when I ask them, they say, you know, we have no money. Uh, and that is the time, even not the lower strata, even the higher strata. Then I tell them when you are doing your kitties and you are going on your junkets and your foreign holidays, why don't you save money for a good lawyer? And that is why women lose out in the court because they don't have the money to fight their cases. Even though they have faced so much of uh, uh, physical abuse, emotional abuse, you know, I mean, nasty. You know, I'm handling a case right now where um, it was to be heard yesterday, but it was in the end, so it didn't come. So now it has gone too much. You know, it's the latest case which I'm handling where the girl's father, the wife's father committed suicide because... He thought that, let me give my daughter um, security by giving her a house, giving her a property. And husband somehow managed to get all out of her and then he's left her. So, you know, uh, the father under depression jumped. And the woman, it's all her sridhan, which has been taken away by the husband. She's living with the mother. And the family court says, oh, you don't require any maintenance. And I've gone in appeal. You don't require any alimony. But Sridhan is not alimony. But see, again, the men have the money. She being foolish has not been able to uh, get hold of that kind of lawyers in the sense you don't have the financial capacity. Like we saw in Salman, you had Rohatagi sitting, you had uh, Harish Salve. I think Harish Salve was waiting in the car in high court that the moment when he was convicted for five years that it will be brought to high court and then Harish Salve will just go and ask for bail. I think Salve or Rohatagi one was there and he was waiting in the high court. So, but these women, they don't have that kind of money to get good lawyers. So, Husbands have the money, you know, you'll be surprised that wife is paying the EMI, but in the flat, the first name is of the husband. And then I asked them, why do you do it? You are so, in, you are educated, you're working. They said, ma'am, one, it will sound that we are very greedy. And second, it is not heard of that the wife is insisting that my name should be first. Patriarchy. Mm. So even though if she's paying the EMI, the first name is of the husband. And when the split happens, Half, more than half of the property is taken by the husband because somewhere if the wife's parents have paid they've paid in cash there's not much there's check no movement mm -hmm. and um, wife is paying but the first name is of the husband so the shares are in his name so the society they manage you know the cozy club of cozy club of men that the society will also help the husband you know nobody wants to stand by women